with a dramatic flourish. Three presidents emerged. Democratic donors posted their images of this entrance at a glitzy New York City fundraiser, needling a fourth president, Donald Trump, with a twist on the sensitive issue of age. In this clip released by the Biden campaign. I mean, all the things he's doing are so old. Speaking of old. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's a little old and out of shape, but anyway. Tapping into the political skills of Bill Clinton and Barack Obama to sell the Biden agenda. Democrats looking for a counterpoint to polling that shows voter frustrations with President Biden. You've got record-breaking job growth. You've got an unemployment rate that is as low as it has been. For African Americans, by the way, the lowest on record ever. Tickets started at $250, but donations soared as high as a half million for the star-studded night. The event raised $26 million, while outside a large and loud protest over President Biden's policy on the Israel-Hamas war. Meanwhile, former President Trump created his own contrast, joining mourners grieving NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, who was shot and killed, the suspect a repeat offender. Mr. Trump slamming President Biden for not directly reaching out to the Dillers. They could have called. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know. Even a call would be perhaps nice. I'm not sure they'd take his call. And new in the Georgia election interference case, Mr. Trump's lawyers are asking an appeals court to remove Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and to dismiss the case. Tom? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.